I'm going to show you a couple new toys that I got from my tractor here. And they both happened to get them both this week. Uh, these are the pilot forks that I got. They came in. I think I got them Wednesday night. Who's calling me? Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got this. Uh, what I did was, is I was trying to get some forks from John Deere. The, the bucket came from John Deere. They actually got me this, this bucket here, see? And it's a six foot bucket, which is what I wanted. And I just picked it up. I just picked it up and got it. I'm probably gonna order a tooth bar for, uh, for this thing here on the bottom there. I might, I'm not sure about that. But these forks I'm crazy about, man. Uh, my parts guy over at Warrior Tractor, see it come from Warrior. Yeah, over in uh, Northport, uh, Jimmy, good friend of ours, I called him and he and I were talking, we were getting some more parts and I asked him, I said, can you give me some forks? He said, yeah, I can get you some forks. And so he called, he texted me back with a price, I said, get them, man. And uh, he said, I have them in two weeks. I said, okay, cool. Well, see, I have a set of forks for the skid steer uh, when I bought it. But man, I'm going to tell you what, these things right here are horses. You got steps on both sides. They're, it's made by uh, Bradco up there. But it's uh, Paladin. You see the tag right there? Paladin. And they couldn't get, they couldn't get me forks at, at Wade there. So like I said, I got the bucket there and got this over here. But I like these forks, man. They're they're a better set of forks than what I have for the skid steer. Got that D-ring in it right there. But these things right here are heavy duty, man. I mean, just uh, nice, very nice. I'm I'm pretty happy with these things here. So got me a couple couple more toys. Uh, <laughs> I've had. Uh, I've had some people say something about, you know, getting stuff and and things like that, you know, buying stuff. You see me buy a lot of stuff. And but it's a uh, it's it's part of you know, just y'all that watch me on uh, Snapchat, y'all often see me still in the woods at 9:30, 9, 9:30 and then I come home and get videos ready for the next day. That's why that's why, that's why I work till 9 or 9.30, so I can get stuff, things like that. Somebody asked me the other day, do me and Jill ever see each other? <laughs> Occasionally we do. No, we do spend, we do see each other a lot, but that's just the norm. I mean, we've been married for, going to be 23 years, so, you know what I mean? We ain't newly with, man. She does her thing, I do my thing. So that's that, so I just thought I'd share the toys with y'all. And I'm gonna be adding more stuff to this thing. Oh, I got some new bush hog blades in the back of my truck here for my bush hog. So that's gonna be a video. I'm gonna show y'all how to change the set of bush hog blades. Be one in, running the one inch impact on it and all that good stuff like that. So you get to see that. But uh, so for now, I'm gonna holler. I'm gonna tell y'all later taters and, and go on. I don't know, I'll probably add some more to this video. So a lot of stuff, subscribe to me. I'll catch y'all later. Later taters. the forks on these pallet forks right there. Pretty good. Let's see here. If I do this without tearing anything out.
Yeah, I'm gonna like those forks. That's the first time I've used them. Those are going. Those things are gonna be really nice. That's a uh, good design on it too. Some real beefy, beefy forks there, man. Uh, they make some other attachments that actually go on that mount right there. You can take the take the forks off of it, and it goes on there like you can put a bell spear. I saw some other things. I can't remember what they what all they are, but I'm gonna take. I'm gonna hook up to my trailer there. Go over here. Hook up to it and carry it up yonder to the shop. Get Kevin that skid steer bucket, throw my saw and all that good stuff back in the back of my truck right quick. Get that done. I'd figure out what else I'm gonna what what my next purchase would be on that. You can see the bush hog blaze up in there by that orange box up in there. I tell you what, y'all see that backup camera right there? <laughs> that, that is the bomb, man, for hooking up the trailers. I mean, you can just, you know, he's up there. I'll probably miss it like by a foot or so backing up to it. But on this shot, man, you know, shadow got me kind of, the shade kind of got me messed up there a little bit, but I got him right on it. Let's see, a little bit more. Whoop, too far. All right, right there. That thing's a bomb for hooking up, man. Let's see what it did. Ha! I missed it! Frick! I should have stayed back where I was. <laughs> see, I had the ball cover right here this time. <laughs> so there it is. They're sitting down on it. Move it forward a little bit. I gotta have two hands. Notice, there ain't no chains on that thing. I am not putting a chain on that thing. If I throw that thing off that trailer between here and our shop, which is five miles away, I done done something bad. I'll be back. Ain't them forks sexy? Them things are sexy. That bucket's sexy too. I may be a little delirious, man. It's hot. I mean, you ain't even got to do nothing to get hot right now, man. Just be out. I think they're even sexier from looking at it through the truck right there. Look at that, boy. I'm telling you. There's a cat engine right there. And a transmission behind that thing, too. I think that's a 13 speed on that one. I'll show you all the difference between the uh, pilot forks on the skid steer. See, this is, I think this is an edge. No, CE attachment That's what that is right there. See, man, it ain't no comparison on those forks compared to the ones that I got from my tractor. Big, big difference, not near the metal. These work good, I mean, they're, they work good. They're a little hard to slide across the forks, back across and all, but uh, they work pretty good. You can, uh, this is one of our buildings here. See all the brake drums, man, we freaking got them. Show you all this over here too. Some of y'all might find this interesting, know what this is. This is a Jeep, a forward control Jeep. There's a saw disc, just busted right there. That's a forward control Jeep, used to belong to my aunt, my dad's sister, and she gave it to him. I have actually rode in that Jeep. I remember when it used to run. That Jeep came from uh, over in California. See, it's actually a Jeep, four wheel drive. See, forward control. On the tag right there. We had some kids at the, at the house where we did live over there next door. Shot the back window out. Man, I thought my daddy was going to kill somebody. But uh, that thing needs to be restored or something. But uh, that was a nice little unit right there. It come from California. And they actually used it in the hospital over there. Inside the hospital. Uh, one of those big towns over there or something. Then my aunt got it and Oh, these are the uh, sprockets that go on Derek's cutter when we put an undercarriage up on it. Those are monster sprockets right there, man. Big ones, I mean. But, uh, yep, yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna go up here and fill my cooler up with ice. And, uh, head, uh, head back toward the house, man. Chill out. Well, I'm gonna go up here and see what Kevin's up to. I give you no light touch. Light touch. Oh, I didn't throw the bucket off the trailer. 
that's our graveyard of trucks and stuff. We have to, I think there's that truck, another big truck, and then the one that burned last year. They're all sitting over there. My sister totaled out my old 98 model Z71. You see the back end of it sitting right there. I bought that truck new in 98. She just totaled it out about three months ago. <laughs>